This is the fish and chips that Gordon told you not to worry about. That's wet. To start off, we're gonna be using some fresh cod. We're gonna pat them dry with a paper towel, give them a quick light pinch of salt, and then just let the fillets vibe on the side as we prep everything else. In a bowl, we're gonna add in some flour. I'm using self-rising flour to make the batter perfect. To this, we're gonna add some potato starch. And yes, cornstarch works just fine. And because you know I love my seasonings, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of garlic powder, some smoked paprika, a very generous amount of black pepper, just a little touch of curry powder. Last but not least, we do a little bit of baking powder and finish with some salt so it's not bland. And you already know, if the color don't change, no flavor was gained. To give the batter airiness and texture, we're gonna crack open a club soda, and you wanna make sure it's as cold as possible, and as we slowly pour it into our batter, we whisk. You wanna keep on working it down until it's a loose pancake batter consistency. You wanna see really tiny air bubbles and essentially no clumps from the flour. Now I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge as I prepare the french fries. You really wanna let that batter set in the cold until you wanna use it to fry. Oh, I'm not entirely sure if I just said fries. I meant to say chips. I just peeled down a couple russet potatoes. Another very viable option for potato is a Yukon Gold. Make sure your potatoes are all similar size for an equal fry. And for these chips, I'm gonna keep them kind of thick. And I'm just shaping them into really thick matchsticks. Just like this, a potato made about nine chips. You want the fish and chips to finish at the same exact time. So follow this order of cook. Got this oil rolling at like about 315 Fahrenheit. That is 315, which is 1.5. Just because sometimes people hear 50. First fry is at 1.5. Toss in the thick chips. And just don't overcrowd the fryer. You want it to be at around 300. And mine is at 280 because I ran out of butane. I am gonna let these roll for about five to seven minutes because they are on the thicker side and then I'm just gonna let them rest on a wire rack and yes at this point they still look helpless and have no color but we are indeed double frying now when you're done cooking all of your chips crank the seat up to 365 degrees when we add our cold fish and batter it's gonna drop the temperature to about 340 350 so that's why I'm going a little bit on the high end we're gonna grab our super lightly salted cod and we're gonna toss it into some flour when you're done give it a quick pat and then just every crevice should be lightly floured like this we're gonna grab our cold wet batter that's been behaving in the fridge just give it a quick little twirl and now it's time to cook our fish what do you call a fish with no eyes? I am down tremendous. We're gonna grab our floured piece of fish and dunk it into our batter. Just lightly drip off the excess batter. And then we're gonna go straight into our hot oil. And now after five, six minutes, we're just gonna drain onto a wire rack. As soon as they come out of the fryer, a quick light pinch of salt. And now when your oil is still nice and hot, we're gonna go in with our chips. Don't overcrowd the pan and give them time to get nice and crispy. After a couple minutes, they should be nice and golden like me. Again, just an instant pinch of salt. And just because these have never been seasoned before, go generous. To make some delicious fish and chips, we must pair it with some tartar sauce. Here's the breakdown, we're gonna add a little spice. In a bowl, we're gonna do some creme fraiche. Mix that up with a little mayo. To this, I'm gonna add a kiss of Dijon. Some chopped up pickles. To this, we're gonna add some cut up capers. Some dried up dill. And then to add a little bit of spice, I'm gonna do some cayenne pepper. I like to be generous, there's a nice little kick. And then last but not least, a nice squeeze of lemon. We give it a quick taste. And that just needs a quick pinch of salt. We're gonna give it a little dunk in our tartar sauce. And as always, na bismillah. That is a 10 out of 10 experience. There's just so much flavor in here. I really want you to give this one a try. You will not regret it at all. Every bite is just crispy and delicious.